Interactive Logon is a Windows local policy security option. It is text displayed for users attempting to log on to a Windows computer. This video will demonstrate how to apply the security policy to the Windows 10 operating system. You can use the same process to apply the security policy to Windows 11. This sample text will provide an example of what users will see while attempting to log on to a Windows 10 and or Windows 11 device. This video will assist in making this task easy to accomplish for most users. Interactive logon samples are available at BigCasterX.com. You can modify these samples or just use them as an example to create your own. Links to Microsoft documentation regarding the security option and links to interactive logon samples will be listed at the end of this video. You will need to log into Windows with a user account that has administrative privileges. Click on the Windows search bar and type in Local Security Policy and you will see the app in the search results. Click on the Local Security Policy app. Then select Local Policies and then Security Options. Scroll down to the policy, Interactive Logon, Message Title for Users Attempting to Log On. In this example, I will use a logon sample and copy and paste the text into the policy. Then click Apply. Now select the policy, Interactive Logon, Message Text for Users Attempting to Log On. Using the logon sample, Copy and paste the message text from the sample into the policy and click on apply. This is a video capture of the process of applying this policy. Now Microsoft, they, uh, they state that this text is often used for legal reasons. You know, for example, to, to warn users about uh, misusing company information, uh, consequences, things like that, in order to warn them about their actions, that they might be audited, uh, that their their activities being recorded, and often you can you can place uh, if you have a personal use policy in place that you can actually uh, make reference to that in this text message. Um, but they also state that uh, not using this warning message type of policy setting leaves your organization legally vulnerable to trespassers who unlawfully penetrate your network. It says legal precedents have established that organizations that display warnings to users who connect to their servers over a network have a higher rate of successfully prosecuting trespassers. You can remove this policy by following the same instructions. You just need to remove the title and message text that was added and click apply. Your lock screen will return without the interactive logon. Uh, this is a few additional samples. Any warning that you display in the title or text should be approved by representatives from your organization's legal and human resource department. This interactive logon policy was a great way for me to personally manage hundreds of devices remotely. An IT professional may place some information that's only relevant to them in the login message. You can immediately identify important information through codes like the age of the device and if it's covered by warranty and similar, similar information like that without having to look it up on your company's inventory database. It saves time uh, for tasks similar to that. Also, in my opinion, having your company name across a locked screen is a theft deterrent. If this IT best practice video was helpful, please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel.